Hello friends, Coach Miller Light here. Currently a theory, we have a dandy topic today. I got this from Vlog A Million. I went back and I'm, I'm on it again. You know, that Vlog A Million playlist on the Hope Skyrockets YouTube channel that I so very highly promote. 10 out of 10, definitely recommend this playlist. You're on the spiritual path. This playlist is phenomenal. It's funny, it's insightful, it mixes humor and universal law seamlessly. Numerology is involved, it's fa fantastic. And the topics are, they go right across all the different topics that I could use to increase in my life. So I got this today from the Vlog A Million playlist, one of those vlogs in there, 73 in the playlist. I listened to the entire thing and then it was so good I, I tried to find something else to listen to, but nothing else that I listened to matched up. So I'm back on it again. I'm, I am mid the Vlog A Million playlist, 73 Vlogs, phenomenal. Okay, so this is in, the coach had this farm your own land report in the Vlog, and then he said this master's play. This is when interacting with other people. It's a four part checklist. Here we go. One, look for the gift they have come to receive. Okay, so this is already gonna get off to a pretty good start. If I'm interacting with another, and now the first thing I'm doing in the interaction is looking for the gift they've come to receive from me. Not, what can I get, what can I get, what can I get? But what can I give, what can I give, what can I give? Completely different consciousness, this is exciting. I like this, this feels like this is gonna be a much better way of life. So when interacting with another, first, look for the gift they've come to receive. So this is in my consciousness, this is in my intention. I'm counseling the divine, the higher power in my interaction saying, all that is, what gift has this person come to receive? Next, show them what you have to offer. I have things to offer, right? I have an array of things to offer. Mostly what I have to offer seems to be a positive outlook. I'm also a musician. I have things to offer. I sell breath spray. I sell chapstick, lip balm. I'm a great gambling coach. I have things to offer. Show them what I have to offer by basically being myself. Give them what they're asking for. And then once they are out of your sight, they are out of your mental space. This one right here, ding, 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 ding. All right, so let's review again. So interacting with another person, look for the gift they've come to receive. Show them what I have to offer. Give them what they're asking for. They'll tell me in the conversation. They might say, you know, I really have been trying to lose weight and, or I mean, I've been trying to get back to running, but I just can't. It'll come up in conversation. And here I'll be like, oh, you, oh, you want, you like help getting on a running streak? I can help you with that. Oh, you, you're gambling, you're not doing a good job. I can help you with that. I have gifts to give, we all do. We all have our own skill set. Well, I have this guitar and I wish and I play, it just sits in the corner. I can help you with that. They'll tell me, it'll come through because I'm first intending that, I'm asking the higher power, what gift has this person come to receive? I show them what I have to offer, I give them the gift they've come to receive. Pretty strong theory. Pretty strong theory. This seems like this is gonna go really good. And the last part, which might be the most important part as I'm interacting with people and seeing when it goes well and when it doesn't. Once they're out of my sight, my physical sight, they're then out of my mental space. Farming my own land where I'm not letting myself think about other people because that person comes into my life and now they're in my thoughts. Right, so now the thought of that person's active and if I let that thought be active when they're out of my sight, this mental system, it wrings the people out like a lemon in a squeezer and that person ends up the shell of a rind, juiceless, seeds poking out. Nobody really wants anything to do with it. It's for the garbage. This is what I'm finding out my mental system does if I let people in it. So the plan is, interact and be fully present, right? I'm interacting, how about be fully present when I'm interacting? That would be good, that would be a good call. Then once they're out of my sight, they're out of my mental space. Don't let myself think about them. Now this is a tall order. This is gonna take a lot of practice, but it can be done. And the theory on my Glad Scientist board is saying, this could equal 
peace and happiness and successful interactions with others. Practice, that was the last thing he said there. You're gonna have to practice keeping people out of my mental space. Becoming aware of it is a good start to notice how I, I think about people and it, it doesn't help because I'm not consciously thinking about the people. I'm not saying source energy, what do you think about this person? I'm just letting the mind run on thinking about people and I choose to stop that. I choose to be someone on this planet who is an example of understanding the rules of the game, understanding universal law, understanding that other people are a projection of my thought about them. They cannot come into my life any other way than that way in which I think they will. I think them into existence is the theory. All right, so practice. Here's another one, another good one before we go on our way that I choose to remember. Find agreement when interacting with others. Find agreement. I listened to the Yes Train. That was a vlog I listened to today where the coach was talking about finding agreement and that all that is, the higher power, is yes, is agreement. So this isn't about agreeing with things that I don't really agree with. This is about finding agreement, looking for agreement. When I'm in a conversation with another, sift through it and find those, those aspects that we agree on and emphasize that point. Talk more about that. Add to the agreement and let the things we don't agree about go by. Don't be this, I'm here to debate you person. This, nobody likes it. We like those that agree with us. We wanna help people who agree with, agree with us. And what the theory is saying is that what we put out returns. And so if I'm giving out agreement, I'm gonna receive agreement. If I'm giving out, yes, yes, I agree with that. I agree with that. I then get back, yes, yes, I agree with that. I agree with that. And what a life when life agrees. What I'm learning here, what I'm coming to understand is for life to agree with me, I have to first agree with life, of course. All right, people, great to be here today. Until next time.